FC25 is finally here and in our first video we will be taking over Liverpool for 10 seasons. After the departure of Jurgen Klopp, Arne Slot has come in and had a good start to his time at Liverpool. But we will be taking over from Slot to look to add to that already packed trophy cabinet. With the likes of Alisson, Van Dijk and Salah having uncertain futures for the next season, we will look to revamp this Liverpool team with some of the best talents in the world. So without further ado, let's get straight into 10 seasons with Liverpool in FC25 career mode. So then guys, the first team or the first squad that we're going to be using is going to be the basic Liverpool team that you get in the start of FC25 because I feel like there's not really any improvements we need to have yet. I'd rather have a season with all the players that are here and decide next season who we will sign and see where we finish in the league, the Champions League and all the cups and stuff like that. So that is going to be the lineup. Obviously, we need to probably look at contracts for players like, you know, Salah, Trent and Dyke, Allison, and just see if we can keep them for another season or two. But without further ado, we're going to jump into season one of this Liverpool rebuild. A really solid start for Liverpool in season one. We finished second in the Premier League on 82 points. Tottenham finishing on 92 points in first. So that is top four secured and Champions League football secured for next season. Let's go have a look at the other competitions with the Carabao Cup, FA Cup and Champions League. First up is the FA Cup. I'm not too sure where we finished. Let's see. We finished in the round six, which is pretty much like the quarterfinals. So we lost to Southampton all three. Carabao Cup now. We got knocked out by Swansea after a 2-2 draw on penalties, which is not really ideal. And unfortunately, we lost to Bayern Munich 5-3 on aggregate in the round of 16 of the Champions League. So that concludes season one for this rebuild with Liverpool. Not the best of starts, I would say, in terms of any trophies, but we did finish second in the league. So we are up there in terms of the league table. So without further ado, we're going to jump into season two now and I'm going to make some transfers to bolster the squad and hopefully improve in season two. First signing of season two is a massive one. It's Moises Caicedo, who nearly joined Liverpool. Uh, last season obviously he went to Chelsea instead for that whopping 150 million pounds so he is gonna be the first player I've signed because I looked over the season and the players like Graven Birch I mean McAllister's already gone up to an 87 in this team but Graven Birch just I mean he's just not good enough to bring what we want for Liverpool so Moises Caicedo is the first signing of this summer window and we've got about 200 million to spend, so we're going to carry on and try and sign some more players. Casado is the first player we've signed. So then, guys, a massive sale. Van Dijk has left Liverpool. He's going to join Bayern Munich for £40 million. I decided to sell him because he's going down in the ratings already. He's 33. I mean, we could get the money we can now while he's 33 because he's only going to go down in the ratings and his stats are going to get worse. So I decided to sell him and sold him to Bayern Munich for 40 million. So that's more money in the bank. So hopefully we can go out and sign a big, big replacement. We also sold Robertson to Barca for 40 million. Another player who's 31, he's getting a bit older. I'm gonna sell him and take the money while I can, which is what we've done with him and Van Dijk. So that is another 40 million in the bank. And we've got players that we've got on the shortlist who we're gonna go and try and buy now. So hopefully we can improve on the squad. The next big signing is here, and it is Theo Hernandez from AC Milan. The new left back is going to go straight into the starting 11. Obviously, as you've seen just before, we did sell Robertson to Barcelona for 40 million. So Theo Hernandez is going to be the player that is going to come in from Milan for 92 million pounds. It's a lot of money for a left back, I know, but we needed a new starter left back, and he is going to be the man to go in at left back for us. So. We're going to go carry on in the transfer window. We do need to go and get a new centre-back, obviously because Van Dijk has now left. So that is the plan. A new centre-back is the next player to sign. Bastoni is the next player that we have signed. 104 million we have paid for him, which obviously is a lot of money, but he's 26. Van Dijk was 33. We've sold Van Dijk. And we've used the money to go and buy Bastoni, who's going to slot alongside Konate in that back line. So... Theo Hernandez and Bastoni have come in and that means that it's going to be the back line sorted for transfers for this window. So we're going to go dive into maybe one more attacker. I feel like we need to improve our attack because, you know, Salah and Diaz are getting old a bit. But we're going to go see who we can find and scout and then we're going to move on into the next season of this rebuild. The season two transfer window has now closed and this is going to be the lineup for season two. Allison is still in goal. Trent, Canate, Bastoni and Theo Hernandez are the back line. Casado and McAllister in the centre mid role. Slobosly is in behind Jota and then we've still got Diaz and Salah on the wings. 
obviously looking at Salah's rating 87 kind of making me a bit worried because he's kind of going down a little bit but he is 33 maybe one more season with us before we go out and we start trying to buy out some young players to bring in to replace him same with Diaz I think he's only 28 though so he's got time to improve and obviously we'll keep Jota up top he's 28 so that is the team and we're going to go dive into season two now and hopefully improve on last season's poor cup runs finish second in the league so I can't really complain about that so season two is here let's see how we get on that concludes season two of this rebuild with Liverpool and as you can see guys we finished first in the Premier League on 87 points ahead of Man City so that is the first trophy and it is a Premier League trophy of this rebuild with Liverpool so that is really really good to see I will take that after only the second season let's go check the cup competitions now obviously I'm not too sure where we finished in this one we got knocked out by United in the fifth round of the FA Cup let's go check the Carabao Cup and unfortunately we lost in the final against Man City 1-0 that's really unfortunate could have done the cut double there so let's go check the Champions League and unfortunately guys as you can see Real Madrid beat us on aggregate 5-2 over the two legs of the semi-finals so a massive improvement from last season obviously with the new additions coming into the side hopefully we can then build on this we've just won the Premier League semi-finals in the Champions League knocked out the uh, in the fifth round against United in the cup and then obviously lost the Carabao Cup final to City so we're only a couple of players away from probably getting into the final of these tournaments so without further ado we're going to jump into season three now and hopefully we can build on this really really good season with Liverpool. Yamin Yamal is the first player of the season three transfer window that is coming to Liverpool I tried to put in a bid for around 130 million. They actually rejected that and said, give us Salah and 66 million. And I said, you know what? Take it. Salah is obviously one of the better players in this squad, but he is going to be what, 34, 35? I think 34. And Yamal is 18. And I'm, they're nearly the same rated, same stats now. There was no way in hell I was going to turn down that offer. But Salah has left and Yamal has come in for 66 million plus Mohamed Salah. I think that's a great bit of business. And he will go straight into the starting 11, 85 overall on that right wing. So now we're going to look to improve on, I'd probably say maybe a left winger. I might go after a Anaki Williams' brother, Nico Williams. But for now, Yamal is in the squad and he's the first signing of season three. The next signing is going to be Schlotterbeck from Leverkusen, who he actually was at Dortmund to start this career, but he obviously moved. He is going to come in to replace Canate and go alongside Bastoni. And now that back line is really, really good. Unfortunately, Canate actually left. He must have done like a pre-contract agreement with Newcastle. He's actually left on a free, which I must have not renewed his contract by mistake, which is unfortunate. But Schlotterbeck is a massive upgrade, so he will, he will actually slot alongside Bastoni now and we've got two amazing centre backs obviously Yamal's just come in as well and the squad is going to be looking really really good for season three as you can see on the screen guys the squad and the team for season three is here Allison in goal Trent Schlotterbeck Bastoni Hernandez Casado McAllister and then we've got Schlomersly Diaz Jota and Yamin Yamal on the right hand side what a team that is obviously that is going to be the main squad next season i mean jota i mean he's in his prime years diaz the same slobosai i mean he's only 25 so he's got a lot of time to improve so that is the team that back line is unbelievable man so hopefully obviously we won the premier league last season we want to do that again we want to try and get the champions league that is the main goal obviously the fa cup and Carabao cup is also on the cards so season three is here let's see how we get on Unfortunately, at the end of season three, guys, we've just come short of winning the back-to-back -back Premier Leagues as Arsenal have won the league with 89 points. We are second with 85, which is really unfortunate. You know, I was hoping we could get back-to-back -back league titles. The FA Cup, we got knocked out in the fourth round by Watford. Again, another really poor FA Cup run for Liverpool. Maybe we're just rotating the team too much. Next season, we could hopefully improve on that. Next up is the Carabao Cup, and we did indeed win the Carabao Cup against Arsenal. So back-to-back -back seasons with a trophy that is good to see obviously beating Arsenal who won the league so kind of one up them on that one so 
The last thing to check is obviously the Champions League. Newcastle Madrid in the final. And unfortunately, again, once again, Madrid have knocked us out of the Champions League. This time in the round of 16. 7-3 on aggregate. So we're obviously not quite there just yet in terms of the like the squad overall. If Madrid are beating us twice in a row in the Champions League. But unfortunately, I mean, we won the Carabao Cup. I mean, it's two trophies now for this rebuild of Liverpool. Obviously, I think there's going to be a couple of improvements that we need to make in terms of the squad depth. I think the starting 11 is very good, but the squad depth is probably not as good as we need it to be. So, that is the end of Season 3, and we're going to dive straight into Season 4. First signing of Season 4 is a massive signing. Nico Williams is coming in at left wing for Liverpool. Really, really highly rated player in real life as well. 89 rated in this save at the moment. Season 4 starts off with a bang. Chiesa has gone the other way and we have spent 102 million as well. It's a lot of money for a young winger, but he's going to go straight into the starting 11 and he's going to be a really, really big threat with Lamine Yamal on the right-hand side as well. And then Williams will play on the left. So, first big signing completed of Season 4. Massive signing for the striker position. I feel like it's time to upgrade from Diogo Jota and Alexander Izak is going to be the player that is going to do it. He has signed from Newcastle and Jota has gone the other way in a massive swap deal for Izak. Jota plus 15 million. Obviously, Jota's about 31 now. Izak's only 27, so I could get a good four years out of Izak, I reckon. So he is going to slot in to the striker position. And now we've got a really, really dominant attacking lineup with Williams on the left, Lee Yamal on the right, and now Izak in that striker position. So that is another big signing done. And hopefully we can kind of continue to improve on these signings with more. So I will show you if we sign anyone else. So then guys, the transfer window for season four has come to a close. And this is going to be the lineup. Obviously, Allison is actually injured. So we've actually replaced him. Obviously, this guy, I mean, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Mama Radashvili. I think that's how you pronounce it. But he signed in real life and then he went out on loan. And now he's obviously come back. So I'm actually going to use him now because he is only 26 and Allison is like 30. I think he's like, what, 34 now? So he is still 90 rated, but he's injured at the moment. So I think going forward, he's going to just be the backup now, Allison. Uh, Trent, Schlotterbeck, Bastoni, Hernandez, the same back line. I mean, look at that back line. 88, 89, 89 and 90. Casado McAllister, really happy of them too. Schlobosai, he's not really going up as much as I thought he would, to be honest. He normally is quite good in terms of growth in career mode. But look at that front three, Yamal, Izak, and Nico Williams now. That is going to be the lineup for the season four. And hopefully we can try and get a Champions League. I would really, really like to do that. So let's see how we get on in season four. Season four has come to an end and Liverpool have won the Premier League once again. The second time in this rebuild, 91 points. We absolutely dominated the league, beating Man City to the title. That's the second Premier League trophy of this rebuild for Liverpool. We also managed to finally win the FA Cup. We beat Spurs 1-0. So that means it's our first FA Cup trophy in this rebuild. So that's a double for this season. And we've also won the Cowboy Cup 3-1 against Arsenal. So we've done the treble in season four, which is absolutely amazing. So that's the second Carabao Cup, first FA Cup, and the second Prem trophy. Champions League is obviously the big one. We didn't manage to get to the final, which is unfortunate. All the semis. We got knocked out 5-1 on aggregate by Leverkusen. So, again, once again, Champions League, we are quite far behind in terms of the depth. I mean, it's just unfortunate, I think. We've had a really tough time in the Champions League so far. But I will take a domestic treble, Premier League title, Carabao Cup and FA Cup. So, Season 4 was a really good season for us. We're going to dive into Season 5 now and see if we can try and get that Champions League trophy. First signing of Season 5 is here and we've signed a new holding midfielder in Chouameni from Bayern Munich for £112 million. I feel like I really needed to bolster... or oh, it's £122 million, sorry. I feel like I needed to bolster the midfield and get some squad depth in because I can't just rely on Casado and McAllister. So I think Chouameni is going to come in ahead of Casado. And he will drop to the bench. So that is the first signing of season five. And it's a big one. I have decided to sell Slobosly to Man City. Selling into the league is probably not a good idea. But I've taken £105 million for him. And I'm going to go after someone to improve. I feel like Slobosly has probably disappointed me the most out of the team. Like he just hasn't really grown as much as I thought he would. But nonetheless, we have sold him to Man City. £104 million 
And we're going to go out and buy ourselves a world-class center attacker mid. A massive signing. Like I said, I was going to bring in someone big. And it's Ander Guler from Real Madrid. He's only 23 and he's 88 rated already in this save. I mean, I had to replace Slobosly and boy have I. I mean, this kid is something else. And Ander Guler, 121 million pounds from Real Madrid. He goes straight into the starting 11. And that will conclude the season 5 transfer window because look at that team now once i put him into the team i mean it, the squad depth now is really good so that is gonna be the final signing of the window we're gonna go check out the squad for season five pretty much the same lineup as last season but chuameni and guler come in i mean look at that team look at the ratings on some of these players i mean it's an absolutely insane lineup so we're gonna dive into season five now and see if we can try and get that champions league trophy Obviously, we want to still win the Premier League and the Carabao Cup, FA Cup. But the main one is that Champions League trophy that we are waiting on. So, without further ado, let's get into Season 5. The end of Season 5 and we have won the Premier League for the third time in this rebuild. A massive, massive result for Liverpool in the Premier League. Smashing Man City, Chelsea and Wolves finishing fourth, which is quite a surprise. We also managed to win our second FA Cup 3-0 against Millwall of all teams in the final which is also good to see Carabao Cup we didn't manage to win which is all right we already have obviously won it a couple of times already let's just see where we got knocked out quarterfinals against Palace they ended up getting to the final so can't really complain and now the Champions League did we manage to get to the final no once again where did we finish in the Champions League knocked out by PSG in the round of 16 again we haven't got past we only got to the semi-finals once. So we, we need to really improve on the Champions League because that is the big one. Obviously, annoying. We won the league once again. So we can't be too disheartened. So that is the end of Season 5. We're going to jump into the sixth season with Liverpool. Season 6 is here and we've signed our first player. Now, obviously, the back line is really, really good. I mean, it's one of the best in the game, most likely. They are getting old a bit. So I have decided to bring in a younger centre-back who's going to be a bit of a rotational player for now. Sandoval, he's going to come in and be a backup. And then in the next couple of seasons, he will finish out for us because obviously Schlotterbeck and Bastoni are getting a bit old. So he's the first player we've signed. 92 million. And it's a lot of money, but he looks very, very good. So... I'm just going to try and bring in some squad players for this uh, transfer window. And then once we start uh, selling off some other players, then we'll start bringing in some like top, top players. So that is the first signing of season six. We have also decided to sell Luis Diaz. He's been really good for us. Obviously, Nico Williams has been starting for us left wing at the moment. I mean, Leverkusen offered 104 million for a 33 year old. I had to take it, take the money while I could. And then we're going to go invest that money now on some other players. So Luis Diaz is the first to leave in season six. The next player we've signed is Joao Neves from Atletico Madrid for 120 million pounds. He is also another young player who is going to come in to replace probably, you know, Casado and McAllister now they're getting a bit older. Again, he's probably going to be a rotational player right now. And then next, next season, he's probably going to push on and be a starter. But it's a massive signing. Obviously, Diaz going gave us some more money to bring in some other players. So, Juan Neves is the next player in. Hopefully, we can now sign some more players. If not, then we'll keep it as it is. We have decided to sell the keeper. He did hand in a transfer request. And I did get a 70 odd million pound offer. So, I have my eye on a couple of goalkeepers that I wanted to buy. So, in order to do that, I've sold him. And now, we're going to go buy a new goalkeeper for Liverpool. There you go, guys. Tristan Adam from Atletico Madrid. 105 million pounds the new goalkeeper comes in he is he looks really really good obviously we did let go of our previous keeper who wanted to leave 89 rated for tristan adam he's going to go straight into that goalkeeper spot and that is going to conclude the summer window for season six i've signed enough players now uh, i'm happy with the squad so we're going to dive into season six now and see how we get on that concludes season six and once again liverpool have won the premier league title that is the fourth premier league title we have won and i mean look at that 85 points with City joint. I mean, it literally went down to goal difference where we managed to just beat them on goal difference. But unfortunately, I don't think we did very well in the cup competitions. As you can see, didn't get to the final in the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. We actually lost 2-1 to Aston Villa, which is unfortunate. And once again, the Champions League, we got to the semi-finals this time, but Bayern Munich beat us 4-1 on aggregate. It's still the Champions League that we're chasing. We've won everything else. 
We're just really, really trying to get that Champions League and we're just not there yet, which is really unfortunate. But nevertheless, we're going to keep pushing on and hopefully we can clinch it in the next season, which is going to be season seven. Season seven, our first signing of the summer window. Ben Reid is coming in for 190 million. He is going to be our new right back. I think this season, Trent's probably going to go drop out the team and be a rotational option. He might have one year left in him, but to be honest, I had to bring in someone to back him up anyway. So that is the player. Ben Reid is going to be our new right back for season seven. The end of season seven is here. And as you can see, once again, Liverpool have won the Premier League title. That's the fourth Premier League title we have won in this rebuild. Really, really good to see. We also did win the Community Shield for the first time against Wolves 3-2, which is quite nice to see. I mean, obviously, it's like a pre-season tournament. It doesn't really count as a trophy, but nevertheless, we have won that. We also managed to get our third Carabao Cup of this rebuild, beating Newcastle 1-0. And unfortunately, guys, once again, we get knocked out in the semi-finals of the Champions League. We are so close to getting to that final and winning the Champions League trophy, but season seven wasn't to be. Can we go and do that in season eight? The first signing of the summer window in season eight is Baran from Brighton, a 22 year old striker for 145 million pounds. He is gonna go and replace Isaac up top. Isaac will unfortunately drop to the bench. You know, he's getting a bit old now and I'm gonna bring in some young talent to play up top ahead of him. So he is the first player we're going to be buying. I'm going to also try and get a centre-back, I think, to replace Bastoni or Schlotterbeck. So, Baran is the first signing of the Season 8 window. Next player we sign is Igor Cabral, 88 million from Juventus. A new centre-back coming in. He will be replacing Bastoni or Schlotterbeck. Obviously, like I said before, they are both going down in the ratings and they are getting a bit older. So, I brought in someone a bit younger to rotate with them for this season. So... That is actually going to be it for season eight in terms of the transfer window. Two new signings, two big, massive fees. I'm going to quickly show you the squad that I'm going to roll with for season eight. So let's get into the team. So then, guys, this is the team for season eight. Adam in goal, Reed at right back, Schlotterbeck, Bastoni, Hernandez, Truemeni, Neves, Guler, Williams, Yamal, and Baran. So I'm not too sure about the defense yet. I'm still going to decide if it's going to be Trent at right back or Bastoni, Schlotterbeck going to come out for the two new lads but obviously you look at the quality on the bench McAllister still there Alexander Arnold Casado Isaac we've got a really good squad depth now so hopefully this is the season where we push on to get that Champions League so that is going to conclude the squad for season eight let's simulate and see how we get on unfortunately guys we didn't manage to win the Premier League once again we actually lost out on goal difference and you remember earlier on in the video we actually beat City on goal difference so sometimes you can't win them all which is you know, we have won, I mean, four Premier League titles already. We won the Community Shield again, and we played Wolves once again, so they must have won the FA Cup back-to-back, -back, which is quite funny. Didn't manage to win the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. Everton won the Carabao Cup, wow. But obviously, the main one for us is the Champions League. Did we manage to get into the Champions League final? We've finally done it. It took us eight seasons to get there, but we have finally got to the Champions League final against Wolfsburg. Now, that's quite an interesting opposition. So, what I always do... So I get to the Champions League final, I actually play the game and I'll clip up the highlights live. So for the final game of season eight, we're going to be playing the Champions League final and hopefully we can finally win the Champions League. Here we are, guys, the Champions League final against Wolfsburg. Obviously, what I've done for this uh, squad rotation, I have actually put the players that have been here the most. So like Trent, for example, he was actually on the bench for this season. But for the final, I've gone out and put him in, in the lineup. Same with Isaac. He is now up top. So let's see how we get on. They come Wolfsburg now down the left-hand side. Ball's going to be cut inside. It's good defending from Schlotbeck. And he's going to be able to carry this ball away. Can he find Yamal down the left-hand side or the right-hand side? Going to cut in on the left. Isaac's throw on goal. What a ball. Isaac. Oh, it's a great save by the keeper. It's a lovely counter attack from Liverpool there. Williams is on the corner. I'm going to try and deliver this one into the middle. And there's someone there. No. Rebounds. Oh, it's saved by the keeper again. Uler now finds the ball. Isaac's throw on goal. It's Isaac. Slides it. Can he get the rebound? Isaac. Oh, how's he not scored? Here's McAllister now on the ball. Can he chip it into Isaac? Isaac on the touch. Can he shoot? Oh, it's another corner for Liverpool. Yamal is going to play it in. Oh, we've nearly got on the end of that. How has Hernandez not got that on goal? Guler plays the ball out to Williams. Can he slide in? Isaac. It's Isaac. 
Isaac with the shot. It's a goal. Oh, no, it's not. Is it both posts? No way has he not scored that. Play it back to Chuamani inside. Can we get the shot away? And it's saved again by the keeper. Really, really unlucky there. Need to make these corners count a bit more. Williams whips it in front post. Headed, saved. Oh, no, he's played through. Wolfsberger in. Wolfsberger in. Bastoni with the tackle. What a challenge that is. Germany, and that is full time. We're going to extra time and potentially penalties. Free kick for Wolfsburg. Whipped in. Gakko wins the header. Germany now. Down the line. Baran. Pressure on the pitch. Juan Neves. And he looked to switch the play. Good ball, actually. Gakko. Is he going to make it past the defender? It's Gakko. Oh my god. No. Square it. Hernandez. Oh, he scored. He's bagged it in. Top bins. To make it 1-0 to Liverpool in the Champions League final. Oh my god, what a goal. Absolutely insane finish from the left back. Don't even know why he was there. Honestly, I don't I don't know why he's there, but it's 1-0 to Liverpool. Oh, Neves has played a great ball into Baran. Baran's through on goal to finish it. Oh, that's a great goal. 2-0 to Liverpool. We've absolutely smashed Wolfsburg in the, the extra time. I mean, it's a great ball from Neves. The two subs linking up there to get the second goal to surely kill the game off now for Liverpool to finally win the Champions League. Wolfsburg on the attack down the left-hand side. Can they get the cross in? No, they can't because Reed is there to get the ball back. Chouamini now on the ball. Going to wait for that run with Gatko down the side. He's going to play it inside to the middle. Oh, it's unlucky. Surely that's game over, ref. And it is. We have finally won the Champions League with Liverpool. It's only taken us eight seasons, but we have finally done it. Finally, Liverpool have won the Champions League. What an absolute graph that was. You know, we've won the league multiple times, won the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup. And it's just the Champions League that we were waiting on. So we're going to watch this trophy celebration and watch us lift the Champions League. So I will catch you guys back ready for season nine. First signing of season nine, and it is a massive one, probably the biggest one of the whole career mode. Drew Bellingham has joined Liverpool for a fee of around 50 million plus or 60 million plus McAllister. McAllister, obviously like 32, 33 now, coming to the end of his contract, didn't want to renew it. So I said, you know what? I'll go out and go get Drew Bellingham. So he will actually start for us in the midfield. What a player, 94 overall. I mean, him and Gula are probably two of the best players on the game. So that is the first signing. Probably going to make another one before we do go straight into season nine. So Bellingham, first signing of the window. Marich is the next signing for Liverpool from Sheffield United. 130 million he is going to be playing in the left wing role. I think Nico Williams has, hasn't really had any competition uh, so far since he's joined. So I've decided to bring in this younger player who's 25. Uh, and Gapko, actually, he's actually leaving. So... He'll come in to replace him. He'll probably start over Williams. I'm not too sure. But that is going to be the last signing. Two signings just for season nine. I feel like the team's good enough to just keep it as it is. But I wanted to bring in a couple of players. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight into season nine. The end of season nine is here. And Liverpool have won the Premier League once again. That is now the fifth time we have won the Premier League. Which is really, really good to see. I mean, we've absolutely smashed the other uh, teams in the league. 91 points compared to 73 from Fulham in second. So we've absolutely smashed it. Unfortunately, didn't manage to get to the FA Cup final, nor did we get to the Carabao Cup final, which is quite annoying. But you know, it is what it is. 
We actually won the Super Cup, which is another one that we haven't been involved in yet. So that was really good to see. First time entering it and we finally won it. So there you go. And Champions League, I don't know if we got into the final and we didn't. So season nine comes to an end. We actually won the league and the Super Cup. So a cup double, can't really complain. We're going to move on into the final season of this 10 season rebuild with Liverpool. First signing in season 10 is going to be a new right back, a Scottish left back from Real Madrid. I don't know how you, many times you normally say that, but Riley is coming in at McPherson so he's coming in to play left back because Hernandez has actually left the club so that is who we're going to bring in left back we've got a lot of money to spend I'm just going to try and spend it all on just the best players because this is the last season so I'm just going to absolutely go ham in the transfer market so that was the first player we've signed a new left back let's see who else we're going to sign in this window an absolutely insane signing here. Zar Emery has signed for the new centre mid role. He's going to play alongside Bellingham with Goulet in front, which sounds absolutely amazing. I can't wait for these guys. I know it's only one season. I tried to sign him a couple of seasons ago, but unfortunately he just had way too many or too, too much wage budget for me. And I just couldn't sign him. So now I've gone in and got him. He's going to play alongside Bellingham and Goulet. And that is going to conclude the summer window. Two signings. I've spent all the money. And now we're going to go and see how many trophies we can win in the final season with Liverpool. Just wanted to quickly show you the final team for the last season of this Liverpool rebuild. It's been an absolutely insane rebuild. I've really, really enjoyed it. What a way to start FC25. So Adam and still in goal. Reed, Schlotterbeck, Carbal has come in because Bastoni, as you can see, is now 85 rated. 80, uh, age 34. He's just too old now. Uh, McPherson, obviously, he's come in. Zara Emery, Bellingham, Goulet. Baran, Williams and Yamal, that front three. I mean, that like front six alone is just insane. So hopefully we can try and win at least the league or even get to the Champions League final for the last season. So without further ado, let's jump into the last season with Liverpool. Right then, guys, as you can see here, we have managed to win the Premier League once again. That is the sixth time out of 10 seasons that Liverpool have won the Premier League. That is a great achievement. We also won the Community Shield in this season, last season. Uh, obviously, that is the third time we've won it, which is really good to see. FA Cup, we didn't actually get to the final in this season. The Carabao Cup, though, we did beat Man City 4-2 to make it a fourth time winning the competition in this rebuild. The Champions League, did we manage to win it? No. We got knocked out by Bayern Munich once again in the semi-final. So, that is going to conclude the 10 seasons with Liverpool. I mean, I really, really enjoyed this. We're just going to do an overview of what we actually won. So we won six Premier Leagues, two FA Cups, two four Carabao Cups, one Champions League, one Super Cup, and three Community Shields. Now that is a big, big achievement. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment your suggestions on any other teams you want me to rebuild in FC25, and subscribe if you're new around here because there's going to be plenty more content coming out over the next couple of days and weeks and months. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.